Welcome to StoryFlix. In this video, we will explain our story. This movie tells a story of a high school student, Chitani Achiya, who made his debut as a novelist. His novels received severe criticisms and were not popular. One day, an editor proposes that Achiya collaborates with his classmate Koirugi Shiina, a popular writer, on a novel. The editor wants a novel that can touch people's hearts around the world. Could Chitani write a novel that can move everyone's heart? Let's find out in our story. God of Novels or Our Story begins with a black and white scene in a classroom. A male student is seen typing on a laptop. One by one, the classmates entered and greeted each other. A group of female students surrounded a girl who was called Koyarugi Shiina. They asked Koyarugi if she had chosen a club. It is also revealed that Koyarugi is a transfer student. While other students were busy conversing about the club choice, Koyarugi saw the male student staring at her, then greeted the student, who was apparently named Chitani. Koyarugi asked if Chitani had any need for something with her, because he kept staring at her. Chitani replies quietly that he doesn't need anything. The female friends surrounding Koyarugi commented that it was the first time they had heard Chitani's voice, as he had hardly spoken before. But surprisingly, Chitani got up from the chair and asked Koyarugi if you like novels. Koyarugi didn't have time to answer as her friends around her laughed at Chitani's question. Chitani runs out of the classroom because he feels embarrassed. Chitani runs with a laptop to the empty school roof. He types on the laptop that he hates novels. After the opening scene, our story continues with the story in the first part, entitled Chapter 1, Chitani Achiya. The student named Chitani Achiya was seen sitting staring out the window in the literature club room. The scene focuses on a novel that is apparently written by Chitani Achiya. Another male student named Kanori Masaki, the chairman of the literature club walks into the room and says they can't possibly invite Koirugi to join the literature club because Chitani can't even talk to her. Chitani gets annoyed and says that Kanori should invite Koirugi to join. The chairman of the literature club then replied that he had invited Koirugi to join, but to no avail. It was revealed that their literary club was almost closed despite having a good tradition. To save the literary club, they need Koyarugi to join. Even so, Kanori refused to explain why only Koyarugi could save the literature club. When Chitani came out of the club room, Kanori called his name. It is revealed that Chitani Achiya is a nickname that others should not know. Unfortunately, when Kanori called Chitani's name, another student heard the name. The scene moves to a cafe. Chitani is seen sitting with a woman, a book publisher named Kauno. Kauno rebuked Chitani's novel that seemed like it wasn't written by him. Kauno warns Chitani not to underestimate work, as he is a professional novelist. Chitani seemed hesitant when Kauno said that readers were waiting for his novel to be published. In the next scene, Chitani looks for a novel in a bookstore. He saw that an author, Fudu Shiina, had just published a new novel. Chitani brought the novel to his younger sister, Hinako, who was in the hospital. Hinako is apparently a fan of Fudu Shiina, a popular novelist. Fudu Shiina's books are always sold out, unlike Chitani's novels. At home, Chitani was washing the dishes when his mother came home. Chitani regrets that his books can't be sold out, so his mother has to be busy with work. Chitani's mother said she was looking forward to Chitani's new novel. Hinako is apparently sick and is experiencing treatment at the hospital. While their father had died. Chitani looks increasingly pressured to write his new novel. In the workroom, Chitani takes one of the novels from the bookshelf and reads that the story in the novel can stab deep into the reader's heart like a freshly sharpened sword. After reading the novel, Chitani opened a website on his laptop and read many bad reviews about his novels. The next scene shows Kanori and Chitani back in the literature club room. A student who had previously heard Kanori calling Chitani's name introduced herself. The female student is apparently Nehru Sakino, a first-year student. Nehru knows Chitani's pseudonym and admits that she has read his novel. Nehru even said that the novel was able to touch the heart and said that she dreamed of writing a novel that could move hearts like Chitani. Hearing Nehru's words, Chitani laughed sarcastically. He said that a novel should not move one's heart because it is only a fictional story. Chitani says that the novel doesn't actually have any meaning. Without anyone knowing, Koyarugi heard Chitani's words from outside the room. Koyarugi barged in and directly slapped Chitani on the cheek and scolded him for not saying that to a junior. Especially since Chitani is a member of the literature club and a writer of novels called God of Novels. 
Koyarugi insists she will never join the literature club because she is sick of being in the same room with Chitani. Chitani meets Kauno again at a cafe. The publisher feels there is a problem with Chitani's self-confidence, making him unable to write novels. Kauno suggested that Chitani collaborates with someone who would develop the story's plot. This method is considered to boost sales of Chitani's novels. Chitani agrees to try. Kauno also called a partner who would collaborate with Chitani. Unexpectedly, the collaboration partner was Koirugi. It is also revealed that Koirugi Shiina is the author of a popular novel named Fudu Shiina. In the literature room, Chitani rebukes Kanori, who apparently already knows that Fudu Shiina is Koirugi Shiina. This is why Kanori really wants Koirugi to join the literature club. Koirugi invites Chitani to meet at a cafe. Since the beginning of their meeting, they have been fighting. Koirugi also emphasized that Chitani only had to obey to write the story with the plot she created. The story's plot tells of an ordinary high school girl who is sensitive but broad-minded named Toko. Toko's attitude apparently hurt Mr. Ito and the others, so Toko closed her heart. But Toko has the eye of the day that no one else knows. Apparently, the plot of Koirugi's story amazes Chitani. Chitani started to look at Koirugi with a different look, and his world seemed to be full of color because of her story. Koirugi mentioned that she plans to divide the story's plot into four parts, and later she will give two parts of the story to Chitani. Chitani admits that Koirugi's story idea never occurred to him. So Chitani recognized Koirugi's prowess as the author of the popular novel Fudushiina. But Chitani wondered why Koirugi didn't try it anymore. Koyarugi avoided Chitani's question and instead showed her displeasure with the collaboration. Koyarugi was forced to collaborate with Chitani at the publisher's request, Kauno, who apparently helped her publish her first novel. Koyarugi also emphasized that no popular writer like herself would collaborate with an anonymous novelist who did not sell well like Chitani. In the second chapter, Koyarugi Shiina opens with a snippet of events in the past, when Kauno and Koyarugi had a conversation about the collaboration offer with Chitani. At school, Koirugi looks for Chitani in the literature club room. Koirugi was angry because the prologue manuscript written by Chitani was not enough to show the main character's loneliness. Koirugi called Chitani's prologue too floating. Meanwhile, Chitani thinks it's okay if the prologue floats because an easy-to-understand story will make the novel sell even more. Koirugi grew angry and tore up the manuscript, ordering Chitani to rewrite it. Chitani said that he wrote the novel not because he really wanted to. Koyarugi threw the manuscript paper to Chitani and asked him to apologize to the novel, she urged him to ask why he wrote the novel. In the morning, Koyarugi looked around a collection of books in the workroom, and she took a novel by Fionaki. Chitani comments that Fionaki's writing is similar to Koyarugi's. The two walked home, and Koyarugi said that writing novels together was fun. Chitani said that he felt writing novels was very painful in the past. But not anymore. Koirugi even suggested that Chitani write a sequel to his debut novel. Chitani then admitted that, in fact, he had already written half of the sequel to the novel, but could not continue after bringing reader reviews. Chitani doubts whether the sequel to the novel will be liked. Koirugi mentioned that Chitani was a doubter, and she admitted that she actually liked his novels. The activity of writing novels together brings Chitani and Koirugi closer. When Chitani submitted the manuscript for the sequel to his first novel to the publisher, a man named Naoko, the manuscript was immediately accepted. Naoko even immediately asked to publish the novel. In the fourth chapter, Kanori Masaki opens with the chairman of the literature club watching Chitani and Koyarugi arguing over how to write a novel. Kanori is apparently a smart and versatile student, and he has many friends. Kanori feels that his high school life isn't bad, even though he can't write stories like Chitani and Koyarugi. In the literature club room, Kanori comments on Chitani, who really enjoys writing. Chitani said he didn't seem to like writing in the past, but that has changed after collaborating with Koyarugi. When Kanori says that he didn't think the collaboration would be successful at first, Chitani admits that he and Koyarugi are very different. Chitani wouldn't be able to become like Koirugi, being a bright person who was always the center of attention. Chitani explained that a big wall prevented him from coming to a sunny place like Koirugi. Chitani analogizes it to a wall that limits him. Unexpectedly, Kanori asked Chitani not to whine and continue writing so that he could read the novel. Chitani apparently understood Kanori's request. 
On the other hand, Naoko actually returned the sequel to Chitani's novel and decided not to continue publication. Chitani was shocked when Naoko explained that the trend at that time was novels with light stories. Chitani walked home in the pouring rain and he was so angry and desperate that he didn't go to school. Chitani locks himself in his room after tearing up his novel. Kanori comes to visit Chitani's house after his phone doesn't pick up. Kanori saw the messy room and, without a word, tidied it up. Kanori insists that he will not leave Chitani until he returns to school. In the literature room, Kanori tells Koyarugi that Chitani has come to school. Koyarugi came to Chitani, who was hiding on the roof. Chitani then explained that the publisher rejected the sequel to his novel. Chitani feels sad and thinks he is not much different from his father, just a writer whose novels are not selling well, so he should stop. Koyarugi begs Chitani not to hate novels and that she will wait for his novel. Chitani meets Kauno and tells her he quit and stopped writing collaborative novels. Kauno tried to restrain Chitani, but he insisted that he could no longer write. Chitani says instead of writing a novel that doesn't sell well, he will work odd jobs, go to school, go to university, and work for real for his family. Kauno asks Chitani to promise if one day he decides to write a novel again, he should tell her. Chitani and Koyarugi's relationship was strained. Until the exam, Koyarugi again looked panicked and fell to the floor. Chitani waited for Koyarugi, who was brought to the treatment room at the school. Koyarugi said that she was okay and just feeling a little sick. Chitani asked about Koyarugi's shaking hands. Koyarugi finally admitted that she could no longer write because her head went blank, her body froze, and her hands trembled every time she tried to write. Apparently, this situation happened because of the many malicious messages from readers accusing Koyarugi of plagiarism until she finally transferred schools. Koyarugi mentioned that the accusations came from Finaki's fans. Even though Koyarugi doesn't do plagiarism and just likes Finaki's writing. After that, Koyarugi couldn't write anymore. Although she really wanted to write a story. That's why Koyarugi wrote the story in collaboration with Jitani. But lately, Koyarugi couldn't even write the plot. So that the last part of the plot of their collaboration novel could not be completed. The scene moves to the hospital room. Hinako asks Jitani to help Koyarugi write, and she waits for their novel. On the way home from the hospital, Chitani asks his mother if she regrets living with his father because he did nothing and left only debts. Chitani's mother's answer was completely unexpected and she actually said that the story written by Chitani's father moved her heart. Chitani then remembered when he was a child, he saw his mother crying after reading a novel. Chitani's father said Chitani's mother cried while reading the novel because she hoped she would not have to cry again tomorrow. To little Chitani, his father explained that, if you cry while reading a novel, you will remember it for the rest of your life. Chitani's mother explained that Chitani's father's story gave her courage. The next day, Chitani returned to the literature club room and then met Kanori, who already knew what had happened to Koyarugi. Kanori then said that, unlike himself, who could only wait for Koyarugi's work, Chitani could do something. Kanori admits that when he feels sad and even loses his courage, he reads Chitani's novels. Kanori mentioned that the novel was his favorite. Chitani finally understands what his father said about a novel that can move readers' hearts. Chitani calls Koyarugi, informing her that he will continue writing the collaborative novel, then he asks her to once again trust his writings. Our story concludes with Chitani running toward Koyarugi, and he assures her that they could write again no matter what. Chitani calls Koyarugi god of novels, a call that she had previously told him. On the other hand, Kanori seems to enjoy reading the novel. Meanwhile, Nerus is no longer secretly writing novels, and she is proud to say that she was writing a novel. At the hospital, Chitani's mother tells Hinako that Chitani rarely visits because it is the best time to write. In the workroom, Chitani and Koyarugi wrote together. Chitani then let Koyarugi try to write an epilogue. The last scene shows Koyarugi answering Chitani's question in the opening that she likes novels and really like novels. The moral that can be learned from this movie is the effort and hard work to pursue until you maintain your dream. Although it is not easy and full of obstacles, we should not give up on our dreams.